Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk and I hope you're doing well and staying healthy wherever you are. Now recently I've been reaching out to you on YouTube and on Instagram for your grammar questions. Thank you for all your questions and today I'm going to answer the most common grammar question of them all. One that I get again and again and again and that is correct use of articles, when to use the definite article, the indefinite article, and no article at all. Now, English can sometimes be confusing. Some languages, such as Russian and Japanese and Chinese and Swahili, they don't have articles. Come to think of it, why do we even have them in English? Why can't we say, I have banana? Why do we have to say, I have a banana? Does that add anything to our understanding? I'm talking to you, English language. Well, it is what it is. And today, we're going to look at the advanced points only, more or less. I'm hoping that you already know the basics. Beginners, we love you, but this video is not for you. Come back later on. Yes, we will cover the basics, but only we're only going to do that very, very briefly, just to get the whole picture and the rest of the time we're going to look at your common mistakes and fix them. So let's go. Yes! First an important point about pronunciation. The letter is called A but it's almost always pronounced uh, uh. The word is called an, but it's almost always pronounced un, un. The only time you would say a or an is when you are stressing it in a sentence. And really, why would you do that? You're much more likely to stress the adjective or the noun. A banana, not a banana. A delicious banana. However, I'll give you an example of a rare case when you would stress a this is a question, but it's not the question. A is the definite article and the first word in the dictionary. The second word is aardvark. This leads me on to my second point. The before a consonant and the before a vowel. Or, again, on the rare occasion that you're stressing the, then you would put the before the consonant as well. For example, I met a guy in a pub called Paul McCartney. What, the Paul McCartney? No, not the Paul McCartney. This one cuts the grass in the cemetery. Okay. Okay, so the articles, the basics. Very, very quickly, the basics. I'm just going to do this in a few seconds, uh, but you can skip it if you want to. Anyway, A and an are used before singular countable nouns. A, an, for the introduction of a new thing or the thing in general. I return to my banana. This is a banana. Sometimes I eat a banana for breakfast. That is an ambulance outside. Plurals have no indefinite article. Bananas are delicious. We have bananas in the house. Now for the specific thing, the one we already discussed, we use the banana. This is the banana I'm going to eat with my coffee. Plural, the bananas. The bananas. Here you are, I've got lots of bananas today. The bananas I bought from the supermarket are yellow, surprisingly. Uncountable things have no articles. Coffee. Coffee is tasty. Soup is good for you. You can use a definite article before an uncountable noun when we mean the thing that we're ready talked about. The definite article is okay. The soup I had for lunch. The salt is on the table. Now we're on to the advanced points. Finally, let's go with that. Things that are uncountable do not take a or an. Now the advanced point is that remember that some words in English are un uncountable but they might be countable in your language. There are lots of examples of these, so be careful. So in these cases, never use a or an before them. For example, information. Never say, I have an information. 
I have the information, that's fine, that's okay. I have some information, that's okay. I have information, okay. I have two informations, no, it's uncountable. I have two pieces of information. There is no plural of information. Informations doesn't exist. It's uncountable, and that's a common mistake. Lots more examples of those types of words in English. Advice, uncountable. Never say, I have an advice. I have some advice. I have a piece of advice. That's okay. There is no plural of advice. Advices doesn't exist. It's uncountable. Count with pieces. Two pieces of advice. Two good pieces of advice. Yeah. News. Never say a news. Some news. A piece of news. Other words that never take the indefinite article. Furniture. Equipment. Gossip. Research. Money. Luggage. Bread. Don't say a luggage. There's more. Luck. Don't say, I had a luck. No, I had a stroke of luck today. And for more information on how to count these uncountable nouns, watch the video up here. Professions and roles. To talk about a profession or a role, use the indefinite article. He's an engineer. She's an accountant. She's a grandmother. Common mistake. I'm teacher. No, no, no. I'm a teacher. That's correct. In general, if we're talking about uncountable or plural things in general, use no article. Let's look at some examples of that. Freedom is better than imprisonment. I miss the freedom I had when I was a student. Women read more books than men. The woman outside has a green hat. Chimpanzees don't understand irony. The chimpanzee in London Zoo can do the Times crossword. With abstract ideas, remember, don't use an article when talking about them in general. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The democracy is something worth fighting for. Is that right? No, it's not. No, it's an abstract idea. No article. Democracy is something worth fighting for. That's better. For meals, there's no article. Let's have breakfast. Let's have lunch. Okay. For sports, no article. I like football. Jogging is good for you. That's what they say. For games, don't put an article. He plays chess to a high level. I like Go. Do you know the name of the game of Go? However, with animals, plants, musical instruments and a few scientific inventions, you can make a generalisation with the and a singular noun. For example, the giraffe is an African animal with a long neck. The chimpanzee is the closest human rel relative. The ukulele is normally made of wood. The smartphone has changed our lives. If we are talking about a typical example of one of these things, we use a or an. For example, a giraffe does not make a very good pet. So I'm talking about this imaginary gi giraffe in my house, not all giraffes in general. A chimpanzee does not make a very good dinner guest. A smartphone is not a good gift for a five-year-old child. A, a ukulele is a musical instrument which is good for those with little background in music. You can also use plurals to express the same idea with no article. So, going back to my earlier example, giraffes do not make good pets. Smartphones are not good gifts for five-year-old child, children, children, etc. For superlatives, use the. This is the funniest joke I've ever heard. You are the best singer in the world. For the physical environment, use the. The wind, the sea, the weather, the town, the country, the night, the universe, the rain, the mountains. The rain falls hard on a humdrum town. We joined the Navy to see the world. But what did we see? We saw the sea. However, we say space. Not the space. The rocket went into space. And we say nature, not the nature. 
I love nature. Do you love nature? Now, talking about nationalities, Canadians love maple syrup, while the British love Marmite. Huh? What's going on here? Why has Canadians had no article, but it's the British? Okay, the peoples of some countries has an adjective and a corresponding noun. For example, an Italian opera, but she's an Italian. An Indian movie, and he's an Indian. Okay? American, Cuban, German, and several other nationalities are adjectives and nouns. English is an adjective, but it's not a noun for the people. Okay? Uh, to make it a noun, you have to put the in front of the adjective. The English. Okay? French, the French, the Japanese. The French like wine, while Germans prefer beer. You can put the before Germans, but it's not necessary. A common mistake I hear is the addition of people after the nation adjective when you're generalizing. For example, Swiss people like to climb mountains. Now, people is redundant here. Just say the Swiss. The Swiss like to climb mountains. Don't say, when I was in the States, I spent most of my time with American people. Do say, when I was in the States, I spent most of my time with Americans. Country names are not generally preceded by the. Pakistan, Indonesia, Belgium. However, some countries, especially those divided into states, are preceded by the. The Netherlands, the UK, the US, the Philippines. Be careful, this list changes over time. We still aren't sure whether to say Ukraine or the Ukraine. A few years ago, it was the Ukraine, but not much now. Read old books and they talk about the Argentine. Now, not anymore. We just say Argentina. Hello, Argentina. Mountains have no article before them. I climbed Everest. You can see Mont Blanc from here. Mountain ranges, on the other hand, take the, the Andes, the Himalayas, the Alps. Some common places do not take articles. It's as if they are uncountable. For example, school. I went to school today. But if you're talking about a specific one, not a place of education in general, then you can use the. I went to the school at the top of the road. Work. I leave work at 6 p.m. every day, not the work. Home. I will arrive home soon. College. I'll see you at college. Prison. He killed a man and now he's in prison. Hospital. In British English, you say he fell downstairs and now he's in hospital. However, in American English, they do say the hospital. Bed. I'm tired, I'm going to bed, which means I'm going to sleep, even if it's not in a bed. But a single instance of the thing, then you can say bed. I left my coat on the bed, okay? Class, see you in class. The meaning changes if you say the class, then it means a classroom. I left my umbrella in the class, okay? You got it? Noun modifiers. When a noun modifies another noun, don't put an article in front of the phrase. So, for example, I'm taking English lessons with let them talk, not the English lessons. In English, we usually use possessive to talk about parts of the body. She grabbed my arm. I hurt my leg. I brush my teeth every day. You should wash your hands very often. However, when a body part comes into contact with an outside object, we often use the after a preposition. Let me give you an example, you'll see what I mean. The cricket ball hit me on the arm. Look at me in the eye. He punched me in the teeth. Musical instruments. In British English, use the definite article. The guitar, the violin, the piano. In American English, the article is sometimes dropped. She plays guitar. 
use the to talk about things that are unique or the only one that we have of something. For example, the moon. There's only one moon, I think. The sun, the world, the internet, the government. The Burtons are coming to dinner, which means the Burton family. They are the only Burton family around here. So we can use the, and it can be pluralized, the Burtons. Social groups use the before the name of a social group. The rich, the poor, the unemployed, the elderly, the young, the disabled. We need to find jobs for the unemployed. We must provide easy access for the disabled. A common mistake I hear is the addition of the word people after the adjective. We must provide easy access for disabled people. No, not really. The word people is redundant. You don't need it. Rich people should pay more taxes. Is that correct? Well, it's better to say the rich should pay more taxes. Sounds better, doesn't it? Before both and all, we don't normally put the. Do you like bananas or tangerines? I like both. Don't say, I like the both. I hear that all the time. It's not correct. What about this? Do you like bananas, tangerines or melons? What's the answer? I like all three. That's right. Very good. After both, we can use the, but it is often omitted before a noun. Both the books were interesting. Both books were interesting. It's the same. Days, months, seasons. We say last week, next week, last February, next February, when we are talking in general about a recent or future time. A common mistake I hear is to say uh, the last week. No, that's not right. I saw him last week, not I saw him the last week. OK, see you next Tuesday. It was a cold February morning. However, if we had more information in order to describe a particular day or a month, then we add the. This is the last week before the holiday. I was quite nervous on the Tuesday before the exam. It was the February before the revolution. Television, media and the arts. My friend was on TV. He played a bank robber in a detective series. My friend was on the TV but he fell off and broke his leg. So if you're performing for television then there is no article. You're on TV or you're on television. The TV is the physical object in your house. Okay so you put something you put a plant on the TV. Strangely, this is not the same for radio. Uh, I was on the radio talking about blah, blah blah. Okay, if you're talking about TV as a form of entertainment and not the object, don't put the. Do you watch TV? Do you watch a lot of TV? She worked in TV for many years. For other mediums of entertainment, you can talk about them without the. I love cinema. I love art, I love photography, I love theatre. In fact, I worked in theatre for several years. But if you're talking about a specific one, then you use the. I went to the cinema last Saturday night. Units and measurements. In some expressions about measurements, we use by the. For example, we sell milk by the litre. This hotel you can pay by the hour. Taxes charged by the mile. However, when you're comparing one measurement against another, you can use a or an. I learn English three times a week. A common mistake I hear is to use by. I drink coffee three times by day. No, no, that's wrong. Three times a day. If you want to be more formal, you could use per, actually, in this case. Uh, I upload the file five times per month or a month. It's the same, okay? So per is okay, but not by. When we're talking about quantities of uncountable and plural nouns, we can use some and any. 
I've got some bananas. In the negative, use any. I don't have any oranges. However, some and any can usually be dropped without any change of meaning. I've got bananas. I want bread. I haven't got time. I haven't got any time. He's bald. He hasn't got any hair. He hasn't got hair. It's the same, okay? By the way, there is a difference between time and the time. Time is uncountable, so it takes no article. We're wasting time, okay? It's a concept. However, we say the time to mean the hour of the day. What's the time? I don't know. I haven't got the time. And finally, different rules in newspaper headlines. Often the articles are dropped, okay? Um, man dies in Himalaya's avalanche, which in standard writing is a man died in an avalanche in the Himalayas. But we'll talk about newspaper headlines in more detail another time. It's beyond the scope of this video. Okay, so learn the rules. The best way, of course, is to listen and practice as much as possible. Most native speakers won't know these rules, but they will use them instinctively. So if you're constantly reading and listening and speaking, you will eventually pick them up. However, it's a good idea to have uh, the rules as a guidelines to refer to them if you're not sure. Anyway, so there we are. Take care. Stay healthy, wash your hands, don't eat bats, and see you next time. The banana. Okay.